through Stefan, which is impossible because Stefan's heart is now in Julie. So, in a nutshell, Gabby turned me into a walking, talking time bomb. And if poor Lonnie had not broken Eli's heart, Gabby would have exploded my heart. It's bad enough that Gabby injected that Abigail Demera with this designer LSD and she tried to inject me with it. But the more I hear about this widow Demera, the worse she sounds. My dear, you have no idea. I appreciate you considering me a friend. Well, I do. I'm, even though you did try to kill me, but, you know, what, that's water under the bridge, so. <laughs> if you really do feel that way about me, maybe you wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind what? Being my best man. I never thought that you were a psycho killer, Claire. Just a very, very troubled young girl. But, uh, I mean, you're better now. Okay? You have to be, or else they wouldn't have let you out. Yeah, no, I am better. I am so much better, and, and I'm beyond grateful to my doctors and Marlena for believing in me. But, Sierra, what you think matters more than all of that because you are the person I hurt the most. There were plenty of times that I hurt you, too. It is not the same. No, but I have been unkind and, and, and considerate. And, uh, I mean, even though we were very close, we didn't always bring out the best in each other. Yeah, we competed for attention from our family and Theo and Tripp. Yeah, but, you know, all of that is over now because I am in love with Ben and I have moved on with my life and all of the bad things that, that happened between us, they are in the past. Do you really mean that? I do. I forgive you, Claire Brady. Okay. Then let me be your maid of honor. going for run-of-the-mill misery here. I want to cause maximum pain. So if he finds out that we actually slept together, that will totally do it. It will be a death blow. What is the problem, Brady? Please do not tell me that replacing him as CEO is enough for you. I guess it's not. No. You, you guess? I guess. 